Hey guys, today in the shop I built a speaker box for the 71 convertible. Stay tuned. Okay guys, continuing the restoration on my 71 Super Beetle convertible. Uh, I'm working on the stereo system and as you can see I've already got the the head unit in the dash there that's a Sony with a CD player and then down below I've got some uh, 5 inch Kenwood speakers in the, in the kick panels got those on both sides and then I'm kinda laying out the the wiring to the back and then I'll do a, a just a small amplifier Kenwood amp here uh, to run the speakers and I'll, I'll go ahead and mount that underneath the back seat and then finally I want to build a box to go back here for my 6x9s and uh, so that's that's what we're going to do today so basically I just want a simple rectangular shape uh, speaker box to hold these 6x9s uh, in, the, in the back of the beetle so, just something, something simple like this. And we'll put these two speakers in the top, and then the, the wire connections on on either side of the box. So we'll take a look at the bug and get our measurements. So once the box is all done, I kind of want the, uh, the speakers to sit just below the, the top of the back seat, so like somewhere around in here. So on the depth of it, it looks like we can go 11 inches and then probably 10, 10 inches high and on the, the width I've got, got 36 to work with but I don't want to go all the way to the end so I'll probably go about about 30 inches on that. So it looks like we're going to go we're going to go 10 inches on on the height of the box. And then we'll go I said uh, 30 earlier, but I think I'm going to go 32 32 on the width. And then 11, 11 inches on on the depth of the box. This way, just like that. So that'll be the size of it there. All right, let's cut up some uh, MDF.
Okay, so here are the six pieces for the box. You got the top and the bottom, the two sides, and then the, the two end pieces. Shazam! Okay, so these are my, my two end pieces. And uh, what I want to do is uh, put my electrical connector in here. And what it is, I found uh, I found these on on uh, Amazon. These are called a uh, banana clip style connector. I'm not sure how they come up with a name, but basically these are your your female uh, connection. And then you get these. This is the male male part of it, and they basically just. Um, slide in there and what you do is you'll you'll connect the the wire from the the speaker or excuse me from the radio to these two and then on the flip side of that this is where you'll run your wire from the from this to the, uh, the six by nines and you got two options here on the connection you can uh, you can use this eyelet style uh, connector and just uh, use it on this uh, nut here. Or you can use this uh, male female type and then uh, use the, these uh, tabs here to connect it. So the first thing I want to do is uh, find the center on on these end pieces and so I see they're nine wide so it would be four and a half This way it's it's ten inches. So half of that is five. There you go. So there's this mark the center, and then what I'll do is I'll drill out a hole to uh, to mount these and. Uh, I'll be using this uh, two inch uh, hole saw bit with a, a pilot bit in the center of it. So let's go drill these out. Okay, I got my end pieces here in the vise. And uh, before I go to this hole bit, uh, I'm going to give myself a, a pilot hole here in the center. Now what I like to do with this uh, MDF to keep it from splintering out on the back side, I'll just go about halfway through on this this side and then flip the uh, the board around. And with this center bit, it makes it a lot easier to to uh, center back on your hole. And as you can see, it gives you a nice 
clean cut on on both sides of the board um, with, with no splintering. So I'll go ahead and cut the second one. Okay, now I can test fit my connectors. Just like that. Looks good on the back. So what I'll do now is mark my uh, my holes, four holes to hold this in, and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it right here. All right, so there are my, my two end pieces with the holes cut out for the wire connectors. And uh, like I said, I'll just use a, uh, a wood screw, something like this, it's black. Uh, these are actually in the, in the package, so maybe I'll use these. But we'll, we'll uh, install these after I get the box together and get the, uh, the black covering on it. Okay, now we're ready to uh, lay out the the pattern for the the speakers, the six by nine speakers. So uh, what I've done is I went ahead and found the the center of this board that I'll use just for the top. I found the center, and then from there I found the center on each side. And uh, and on these speakers on the back of the box. Uh, they have this template and uh, basically you just use some scissors or a razor and, and cut this out and uh, this is your template for, for cutting the holes for your speaker and so we'll put we'll put one right there and then we'll put one we'll put one right here like that. so those will be our two locations for the speakers I'll go ahead and uh, trace this out, and then we'll we'll drill a couple of holes for the the jigsaw blade, and then we'll cut these out with the jigsaw. And of course you want to make sure you get your your four uh, screw or bolt holes the first thing I'm going to do is drill out these the four uh, screw holes to secure the speaker and what I like to use is uh, these nuts called a T-nut. Um, you can get these at Home Depot. But these will these will just press into the the back of the, the wood. And then I'll use a, a, a bolt like this also. You can pick these up at Home Depot uh, to, uh, to use with the T-nuts. Okay, so I got my... I got all eight of the holes drilled for the, the, the screws for the speakers. 
Then I've also got some bigger holes drilled out for the, the jigsaw blade. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, rough cut this out and then uh, we'll put it on the, uh, the router and, and give it a nice clean edge. Okay, so there's our two speaker holes rough cut out. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, is use the router and clean this up, make a nice, you know, straight cut on, on these. And what I'll use is this, uh, uh, what's called an adjustable curve. I got this from Mobile Solutions. And uh, what you do is just take some uh, two-sided tape and put it around you know the area you want to cut and then you uh, apply this adjustable curve and then you use what's called a, a flush a flush trim bit and what you wanted to use is a one with a square bearing on the top and what happens is when you're cutting this bearing will uh, ride along the edge of the of the adjustable curve just like that if you use the uh, the round style bearing, it'll it'll spin, and it'll end up uh, damaging the, the adjustable curve there. So we'll uh, I'll get this put on around these holes, and then uh, we'll jump on the router and, and you know make a nice cut for these. Okay, I've got the adjustable curve attached and I've got it on the right on the line that I, I used uh, with the to make with the template and uh, it's a little bit short so what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut what I can and then I'll reposition the, the curve on this side and then finish the cut there and then we'll, we'll pry this off and uh, do the second one Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the router table set up. I got my uh, flush trim bit. We'll go ahead and put that in. Crank this down a little bit. Okay, so now we'll get the depth set on the bearing, make sure it matches up on this curve. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, make the cut. Okay, before I cut the other one, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a 
quick test fit. All right, looks good. All four of the bolt holes line up. Yeah, okay, looks good. So let's go ahead and cut the other one. Okay, so I got both of them cut out. Both speakers fit nicely. So now we're ready to uh, put the box together. Okay, what I'll be using to put the box together is this uh, tight bond wood glue. And then I'll be using uh, Brad Nails, uh, 18 gauge. And I'll go with an uh, inch and a quarter in length. Uh, this, this box on the MDF, it's only uh, a half inch in thick thickness. And so if you go with anything thicker than uh, an 18 gauge uh, Brad, it, it tends to split out the 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 uh, the end of the wood there. And then to uh, since I don't have three or four hands, I'll be using these corner clamps I, I picked up from Harbor Freight just to help me hold it together while I glue it and uh, nail it together. Now you can see how these clamps hold everything nice and uh, square and then, and then flush. And uh, so what I'll do, I'll start on this, this corner. Now that I got it squared up, I'll just loosen this one and this one. I'll slide this piece out, uh, put some glue on the edge, and then uh, nail it together. What I like to do is draw a reference line on each edge. Uh, just so I know where to place the, the nail gun. Okay, that end is done. So we're going to do this end. This one's going to be a little more trickier than, than the first one.
All right, now we can add a, uh, a couple of clamps to these ends just to uh, let the glue set up for a little bit. Okay, so this, this MDF is uh, kind of old. It's been sitting around the shop for a while. And uh, it's a little bowed in the center. So what I did is I added, I'm going to add these two pieces in the, in the center to keep it uh, 11 inches across all the way down. Okay, we got the box all together, and uh, before I cover it, I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, T nuts in, and we'll use just use a pair of uh, Nipix uh, pliers and uh, push these in from the bottom. Okay guys, what I'll be using to, to cover the box is some of this uh, black ozite material. You can find this on Amazon. And then I'll glue it on with this uh, Wellwood contact of heat adhesive. And I'll do that using a, a Harbor Freight spray gun with a uh, 1.8 nozzle. Thank you. 
guys to close up the end of the box with this ozite I'm going to use a little trick I learned from another guy on YouTube uh, he's got a, a YouTube channel called sound man I believe his name is Doug but basically he's got a really cool trick and uh, I learned this from him so I want to give him the, the credit for that but basically what we're going to do you can see I've already got the four corners cut out and then what we'll do is we'll take the bottom and the top and I'll glue this first we'll take these and fold them over like that then I'll make a cut with a razor blade across here take off the excess and then when I lay these back down they should meet up and, and have a perfect line across here then after that I'll take each side and lay it over and do what's called a, a half moon cut on it this way take off the excess lay it down and then the same thing with this side and it gives it a nice finished look and there's only one one layer of material on each end so uh, let's go ahead and try that and if you want you can check out his video too Okay guys, got the box all covered now. Now we're ready to uh, cut the holes in it and uh, drop the speakers in. But uh, before I do that, we're going to put in some wiring to connect the speakers to the uh, these uh, wire connectors. This is not a drill. Is that all you got?
nice. Well, there it is, guys. Sitting in the back of the Beetle. Looks like a pretty, pretty good fit. Not too big, not too small. So lastly, what I'll do is I'll hook up the uh, other end of those connectors to the wires coming from the amplifier and uh, just plug and play. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you don't mind, leave me some feedback in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.